Hey, welcome to Mikey's Video Game Madness. Today we're playing Terminator 2, the arcade game on the Super Nintendo. I know I already did this on the Sega Genesis. Do I sound really excited, like hosting NASCAR or something? Anyway, Chris is with me. Say hello. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. That's his version of hello, I imagine. Um... So this is based on one of my favorite arcade games. If I had a choice of having an arcade cabinet, this would probably be one of them. Unfortunately, this is on a Super Nintendo and doesn't come with the little machine, the little mini guns that the arcade game had with the little motors in them. The, that was pretty awesome. Actually, I really like that. But um. They never had an arcade perfect version of this game, unfortunately. The arcade version looks good. I think you need to push start. You're red, if you didn't guess already. So Chris, feel free to say anything besides Sunday, Sunday. Monday, Monday? Do you remember playing this game in the arcade? I have never played this game before. Really? In the arcade or otherwise. I was at the mall and they had, um, get this, a 25 cent arcade machine. I forgot we can't kill humans in this game. I didn't forget. But, um, yeah, this was my, my father gave me 50 cents and I could pick two games. And I played this and Dragon's Lair. I love Dragon Slayer. That was the first game that I ever played that cost more than 25 cents. And I was really upset about it before I played it the first time. And then I felt like it was completely validated. <laughs> I remember seeing it and not knowing how it worked. Yeah, no, that was my experience the first six times. I didn't actually feel validated until like the seventh time I played it. Which meant that I had already spent like a solid 350 on it before I even enjoyed the game. <laughs> I remember my dad's like, push up. And you see his head just popped up. He's like, push up, push left, push right. And he's like, I'm, well, I was like, I don't know what the, why the character isn't doing what I'm telling it to do. I don't understand. He's like, push, <laughs> push the red button or the t action button or whatever it was. He's like, he wasn't doing anything. I mean, Impressive at the time, but all Dragon's Lair was was a glorified laser disc menu. <laughs> <laughs> all you were doing was switching the chapters. <laughs> I never thought about it. Like in that. unique ways. They actually have. I think they even have Blu rays. Oh, I gotta get one of those fucking recharger things. The, this game, I can see where it would be way better with like, like guns. guns. This yeah. actually was compatible with the Super Nintendo mouse, and it was way better that way. I this, this, and the Super Six Scope Six, which fucking ran batteries. You might want to get that box down there. Oh, I'm too slow. So, um, they actually had some of the actors from the actual movie capture themselves, like Mortal Kombat style, but. I mean, it would be impossible to do it today with the licensing and stuff like that, but back in the day when you played the arcade machine, it looked way better than this. I, like, especially further down, further on in the game, when it shows, like, the Terminator going through time, because this, this is the Terminator 2 story but you're playing as the um, the T-800 before he goes back in time. So you actually get to see him go into the time machine and all this shit. All that shit. I don't know how to word it. <laughs> but yeah, they like actually scanned shit from the movies and stuff, which was pretty significant at the time. There wasn't a whole... There weren't a whole lot of games. I think the first digitalized game I ever saw was that Sorry guys if you like this game, guys are girls. If you like the <laughs> game I'm about to mention, what, now I can't remember what the the name of the game was. It was like that arena game where you could pick like the two, the three fighters. 
I've been terminated. We'll push start. Oh. Now you're on alternate power. You're not supposed to shoot the people. Even though that doesn't I'm make sense shoot. because John Connor didn't tell him to not kill anybody. And I didn't ask, like, why? 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 Because you just can't go around killing people. Why? <laughs> 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 of course, I'm a Terminator. <laughs> That's my best impression. I'm sorry if I spoiled some of the movie for whoever <laughs> hasn't seen Terminator 2 Judgment Day. So don't get upset. I mean, you can get upset, but I feel like... If, if you, you have... haven't seen Terminator 2, your upsetness doesn't matter at this point. I feel like even if you have a Betamax, there should be a way for you to see Terminator 2. <laughs> film's probably been on every format possible. I saw, like, at the Love of Jesus thrift store, they had, like, a special director's cut edition of Terminator 2. It was, like, two VHS tapes, and it had, like, a giant-ass hologram on it of the, um, endoskeleton head. That's pretty cool. I guess we you should get that. Oh, it's the gold ones, because you know in video games, when they change the colors, <laughs> they're more powerful. Why? They seemed as <laughs> shit. But when I was in high school, I took a film exploration class, and Terminator 2 was one of the the films that we studied. And um, it was one of the few classes that I made a point to show up for every time. But I'm glad I did, because... Just based on Terminator 2, or did you actually like the class? <laughs> The teacher was cute. Oh, you got a, you got a cute teacher who talked about Terminator Two. Yes, and when? Nineteen ninety nine. Um, but the focus was on how the c CGI was used well enough to advance the story, and it wasn't cheap and all of that, and um until like you associated it with Capri Sun commercials where those kids would turn into liquid <laughs> <laughs> they're like they're using the T-1000 effect to remember I paid so much attention to what I was supposed to pay attention to in that class because I wanted teacher. to impress the teacher that I, I have no negative memories of that class or any of the movies that we watched and, I and I'm terminated again. Push start this again. This game is tough without a light gun. I had people yelling at me when I originally did the Sega Genesis version, or what you would consider yelling at. This thing takes like a thousand fucking hits. And people are like, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And they like thumbs down me. And it was pretty <laughs> devastating because it was one of my early videos and I wasn't used to being yelled at beside my dad. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it, was, it was really tough. I sure do have a lot of missiles. I'm out of them. Like, this is just insane. And uh, there's people that probably could beat this with the controller too. Yeah. We're we're doing this for I'm the commentary. Trying. This is the first. And there's no more. There's no more press and start for me. Oh wow. Well, I don't think I'm gonna get much further. <laughs> I had a hot gym teacher, right? I remember her. What was his name? <laughs> her name was Miss Brown. Yeah. The most generic name ever. Um, and I just... 
I remember her being super attractive and she's always nice to me. She's always like, how are you doing? Haven't seen you in class, blah, blah, blah. Because I fucking hated school and skipped it all the time at that age. Yeah, no matter how cute my teacher was. Especially gym class. Yeah, gym class fucking sucked. Because you had those <laughs> kids that fucking yelled at you when you weren't competitive at stores. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, dude, this is fucking tag football. We can't even, like, hurt each other. <laughs> it's crab soccer. What are you getting so butthurt about? Like, we can't even play tennis. It's fucking badminton. Fucking... <laughs> this damn thing's, like, more fragile than a paper crane. <laughs> Why are you concerned with my v sit and reach scores? It's like, what are you doing? You gotta put your initials in. But yeah, so like, that was my middle school gym teacher, right? So I like forever idolized, not idolizer, but always thought like that was the hottest teacher ever. Well, that didn't look right. I'm not good at this game. No kidding. Dude, it is picking up probably you scratching. Just <laughs> have an itchy belly. I mean, they didn't need to know where you were scratching. It's like well, gross. it's better than them assuming otherwise. They probably wouldn't hear it if it was down there. Well, you said unless, it's unless it's like swampy, like brittle, like like fucking fly hair you're a disgusting human being <laughs> I just want you to know that <laughs> I'm hoping that this mic isn't as good as I think it is <laughs> I've been like smokers laugh over here. but anyway like I was working at the grocery store right and I saw like Miss Brown. Her name was... She had a stripper for us today. It wasn't Candy, but was it was it Misty. <laughs> Mercedes. With an eye. Oh, man. There were girls in my class named Mercedes. There's a Brandy, too. <laughs> There's a few Brandies in my life, to be honest with you. I've known a handful of Brandies. Most of them spelled them with Y's. All of them spelled them with Y's. How's the liquor? I feel like I would have judged them negatively if they didn't. How's the liquor with with an I? Hmm? How's the liquor spelled with an I? Liquor? What is brandy? A wine? What oh. alcohol beverage is the brandy? Oh, yeah, no, that's still spelled B R E N D Y. Because I always thought. B R E N D I is how the um, I always thought. stripper version is spelled. Oh. You know, I've never been to a strip club, and I imagine they don't wear name tags. Do they have, like, a little placard so you know, like, who's dancing? No, they just have a um, very respectable gentleman who uh, oh, yeah, they introduces them. Does he, like, wear, like, a, um, like a leopard pattern, like, suit jacket? Like a lounge lizard? It's like a silk shirt. <laughs> with flames on it just on the bottom fucking Walmart special <laughs> <laughs> he's got the fedora and on his off days he wears skulls <laughs> <laughs> Super Nintendo version must be harder I'm s I think on the Sega Genesis one there's like an option where you can make it easier I, I had the mouse, or I borrowed the mouse when I originally rented this that came with Mario Paint. It had made the game way easier, maybe even easier than the Super S Scope 6 version. Yeah, because this isn't... This isn't even uh, the fucking hard level beside the boss is, like, unreasonably powerful, but... This looks better than the Sega Genesis version, but there's never been an arcade perfect version, and I don't even think the PlayStation 1 could have emulated the arcade version's graphics, because it had, like, a lot of, like, decent animation when it was doing, like, some of the liquid metal stuff. 
But back to my story about being the grocery store <laughs> the gym teacher is that I uh, when I was 19, I was going to college and um, working at a grocery store at the same time. And <laughs> and she happened to come in. She was so busted. <laughs> I was kind of upset. <laughs> I mean, she's, I'm sure she was still a nice person. She had a kid and everything. And she's like, do I know you from somewhere? And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I probably wasn't that much of a dick. But it was really awkward. Because I thought I was her favorite student. And she had to ask me if she knew me somewhere. Maybe I looked busted too. <laughs> <laughs> I think my hair out was of context. I think my hair was dyed back then. I was going through the stereotypical punk kid emo phase, whatever the <laughs> fuck you want to label it as. And like, since I was outside, like washing carts, and like my black hair turned purple because it was like the sun fucked it up. I think I had like red in it too. I look like a fucking dickhead. <laughs> I don't know what I look it just looks stupid. Should I use uh, any other buttons besides Y and B? No. Okay. <laughs> I think those are mostly most of the game unless you're playing like something super complex. They're like no! when you hit him. <laughs> Pity laugh. <laughs> no, I, just, I can't hear it. It's the gold ones. Mayor Goldie Wilson. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> Mayor! <laughs> that, that was such a fucking like six-year-old kid laugh I just did there. I apologize to everyone. <laughs> Mayo. I like the way this. What? It's like yeah, somebody needs to clean up this town. It's like <laughs> you can start by cleaning up the force over there, or something <laughs> like that. Dude, they had a Hot Toys DeLorean. It was fucking awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's probably about the size of the table that this whole computer is on. <laughs> Cause it has to be able to fit like the twelve-inch figures in it. How if much you... was it? <sighs> like five hundred dollars. Uh oh. Which, I mean, it's not bad if you compare it to the figures, I guess. Or the cost of a real DeLorean. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it was pretty deep. Well, it's hot toys, of course it is. If since you guys can't tell how big the table is, I'd say this table is about three and a half feet long, maybe. Yeah. Maybe two and a half feet wide, deep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I'm just aim at the the fucking guns. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, wait, I just did. Oh, snap. I'm gonna aim at this fucking shit show in the middle. How I get terminated? Because you got shot. The thing just doesn't let up. This is like that fucking thing on friggin' Smash TV, except worse. What was it? Moltoid man? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck that thing was? Look, the thing still hasn't fucking blown up. I'm getting car. Why are all the tunnel. rockets coming on my side? Because I hate you. How many times do I gotta shoot this fucking missile launch? I swear the Sega Genesis version's easier from my memory. <laughs> this game actually came out like 
a year or so after the Sega Genesis version, you think they would think out a better console version, but that apparently was not the case. <laughs> it didn't look as nice, but it was way player friendly. This has a better color palette. My hand is actually starting to hurt from pushing the missiles and holding down the fire button. I have no more missiles. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be shooting this area anymore. I'm just shooting. Like a rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> no. And I'm done. Game over. Alright, that was Terminator 2, the arcade game, on the Super Nintendo. I would not even attempt to play this game unless you have a mouse or Super Scope 6. Or you do devious means and probably can use a computer mouse and emulate it that way. Even though the Sega Genesis version isn't as pretty, I would definitely play that. Or, if you can, I would definitely play the arcade game. That's one of my favorite arcade one of my favorite arcade games of all time. I, Don't play this shit with the controller. No, you'll your hand will look like a claw. W what was that guy on Scary Movie 2? Where he had that fucked up hand. Take my strong hand! <laughs> yeah, the strong hand. Yeah, you'll have like one of those deals. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tolerating us and... Either I or both of us will talk to you on the next video. I'm sure you're super stoked about all that jazz. Um, take care. and hope you're well. W were you, were you going to say something? Because your face was right up to the microphone. So um, I'm having this program where I'm trying to help like kids with disabilities. And... And so you you guys will just have to be patient with me. And if it sounds like I'm talking shit, he's right here. He's just retarded. <laughs> Mentally retarded, excuse me. But he, he doesn't care. So he Physically, doesn't... I'm fine. It's <laughs> yeah. Just mentally. Yeah, so he doesn't know any better. Sorry about that. I don't know no better. <laughs> it's all right. Your mom promised you some candy after this video, so it'll all be good. Alright, guys. <laughs> Take care. She Bye. thinks I'm famous. You are. <laughs> Alright. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Dude, this is so stupid. <laughs> and I'm leaving that into the recording, too. They need to know. The people need to know, damn it, that we're not right. <laughs> if you want to, like, comment, and subscribe! Thanks for watching!